What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Today guys, we have to have a chat about the absolute mess that was Foot Champs Rewards last night. And uh, I'm going to explain to you guys, for those of you that might have missed it today, what happened, what EA did about it, what they didn't do about it, what they should have done about it, and how disappointing it is uh, ultimately. Um, I haven't made a video like this in a while, you know, usually we do uh, state of FIFA style videos quite regularly and, you know, we complain about the game quite regularly, but, you know, there's been some cracking mistakes from EA this year, the 0.7% Messi, the Yaya Torre hero issue, the Johan Cruyff icon issue where they gave people tradable Johan Cruyff because the, uh, the untradable version had the wrong playstyle plus in, the uh, hero, tradable hero store pack, the, the store pack issues of like incorrect text in like portuguese or french so people got like free store packs that were tradable like there's been a lot of massive cock-ups but the reason why even in spite of all of those that they that i haven't made like a lot of like quote-unquote rant videos is genuinely because for the most part i've actually enjoyed a lot of this game yes the server issues can be frustrating at times yes some of the gameplay mechanics are incredibly unbalanced and yes, we all get frustrated playing this game for sure. But ignoring the reds that I got last night, I love my team. I, I love the fact that Evos are in the game. They also could be better, but I love the fact they're in the game. I love the fact that I get to use my favorite players in real life in Ultimate Team. And so I've, I've always like <clears throat> kind of felt like it would be disingenuous for me to make a rant video about this game when I'm mostly enjoying it. You know, there's obviously, as I've explained just now, some issues, but um, yeah, for the most part, I've been enjoying it. However, what happened last night was like literally nothing short of a disgrace. And you might get people in the comments today, and we, I've seen it on people's tweets and people's streams and things like that, of like the whole, it's only a game, get over it kind of mentality. But people pour a lot of money into this game. And more importantly, people pour a lot of time into this game. And so when there is something so wildly unjust, it's really frustrating, right? Like, not a little bit frustrating, not like, a, oh, well, that's okay. They didn't really benefit much. It's really frustrating. And so if you don't know, basically last night, Foot Champs opened at 8 o'clock, and I, I started seeing a few people, a couple on Discord and or somebody that Bates and Open Rewards for, getting Mbappes and Dembele's. And I was like, wow, that seems nice. Then somebody tweeted me that they got 11 wins and they got Mbappe and Dembele. Then somebody else tweeted because I tweeted about it. And it turned out that Mbappe, Dembele, Zaire Emery, Jonathan David, and a couple of other players were, uh, I think it was uh, Golovin <clears throat> and um, Donnarumma, they were like the only six players that were popping really regularly. And so it then became a race of... How can we get these red picks as quick as possible? And people were stopping at 11 wins because, of course, at 11 wins, you get two player picks. At 14 wins, you also just get two player picks. At 16, you might even get two at 16. And then, obviously, at rank one, you get three. And so people were just rushing to get their wins to 11 to try and get these player picks because, of course, if you got some red rewards, you was almost guaranteed Dembele, Zaire Emery, or Jonathan David. Kylian Mbappe wasn't quite as common uh, as the other three, but as you can see on the screen for me right now, I got Zaire Emery and Dembele. That is basically 10 million coins worth of cards that I got for my 11 wins. And so I rushed through, played all my games, got my 11 wins in, gave away six wins myself because obviously we, the community was enjoying themselves last night. And as time went on, it got to midnight. Still hadn't been fixed. That's four hours. It got to 1 a.m., 2 a.m., still hadn't been sick, fixed. That's six hours. It got to the point where about 2.30 in the morning, I'd already long got my rewards. Like, social media was blowing up, and everybody was grabbing as many wins as they could to get these cards. And at that point, I was saying to stream, like, there's no way, there's no way EA can fix this now. You know, when, when they introduced a player pick that was giving out effectively free team of the year messies, that was taken down really quickly like 40 minutes, something like that. It was taken down really quickly. And, you know, the 0 0.7 meme was, was born. Um, the 0.7% meme was born. This was up for so long, and it had spread so much through the community that in my mind, 
there was already way too many people that had got these cards for EA to dare change it. I was like, in my mind, I was like, this is just let let everybody have one. And the reason why EA should have just let it let it stay is because ultimately we're at that si stage of the game cycle where it doesn't really matter as much, right? If you come up against somebody with a red 97 and Bappe or whatever SBC has been popular or a Gonzalo Guedes like e double Evo chain or a Kai Havertz SBC or one of any of the massive SBCs that are there already. If you come up against somebody with Mbappe or somebody with Dembele or somebody with Zaire Emery, who cares? Look, look at what's available in SBCs. Ronaldinho, Team of the Year Ferdinand, Team of the Year Lothar Mateus, Team of the Year Lam. In terms of forward players, this 93 Raul, which, by the way, is incredible. You've got uh, Frank Ribery's Team of the Year. You've got Mia Hamm, Eric Cantona's 92-rated Golasso card. We've had so many other icons come and go. And then in terms of the other players, you've got like an incredible Chloe Kelly. You've got an incredible Diani. Like there is a lot of really, really, really good players available from the SBC section. And people have already packed some good players and have got some good Evos and have had some live cards that have been upgraded and whatnot to the point where, yes, Mbappe and Dembele are still better than these cards. But if, if EA just let everybody have them, it wouldn't matter that much because we're going to get Euros content <clears throat> and that Euros content is going to have even more incredible cards, probably including Mbappe and Dembele. They're really big cards. They sell packs. They're French. They'll do well. They will probably be in there as well. We're then going to have something like the footies. I don't know what EA will call it this year. Summer heat footies, the, whatever the other promo was called in the back end of the game, where we start getting 98, 99 rated cards, SBCs, you know, we get those transfer SBCs. Yes, it's a bit further down the line, but we're most likely going to get like a 99 rated Real Madrid Mbappe SBC card for when he eventually inevitably transfers there. I'm guessing that he's going there, but I think we all know where he's going, right? And so for the sake of two, two red player picks that would have made everybody that played this game genuinely happy, EA could have just let it go and should have just let it go because of the volume of people that got these cards. This isn't like the messy 0.7% thing where loads of people opened those picks and loads of people didn't get the messy. I opened it on four accounts and didn't get him. So even though he was common, he wasn't that common and it was only there for a short period of time. This was one of those situations where it was there for like six to seven hours and every single pick, sorry, my voice is going because yesterday on stream I was... <clears throat> I was stressed. I was frustrated. And, and look, I'm, I've got the Reds as well, right? And I'm still pissed about this. Sorry for swearing. Um, you know, the, the fact that every pick contained, at the very least, their Emery. But most, mostly Jonathan David and, and Ushmane Dembele and somewhat Kylian Mbappe. Like, everybody that got the chance got the cards. And so many people that were watching the stream and watching other people's streams, got up, got out of bed, or stopped what they were doing and played their games, played through their games to get these cards. But EA to then at about 2.45 in the morning, tweet that they've fixed the issue, and that was it, was appalling. And it wasn't just the fact that they fixed it and that was that. It's the way that they announced that they fixed it that left me incredibly triggered, right? Incredibly triggered. And the reason why it left me incredibly triggered is because they, uh, they said, I'll show you. We have identified an issue where the champions player pick rewards were providing unintended results. This has been corrected in game. No sorries, no here's how we're going to address the people that are like already partway through their game or might have already hit 11 wins and were playing to 14 and if they had stopped on 11, they would have got some good rewards but because they decided to play the game fairly or, or correctly, they didn't get anything. No, we're really sorry about this. We understand it's frustrating. We have identified it and we have corrected it in game and there's two more things from this very short tweet or X post that really wind me up. The first one is that it was providing unintended results. And I'm probably being a little bit icky here with, with this because of the way EA have decided to word this. But the fact 
that they intend to screw us from playing foot champs is disgusting. The fact that the intention is you can play 20, of, 20 games in the competitive game mode, the most competitive game mode that EA have, that they've, you know, they've prided themselves over the last couple of years on champs being the competitive side of things. And the intention is that you don't get good players. The intention isn't that the better you do, the better you'll get, the better chance you'll get. The intention isn't that you'll have a good chance to get some of these players, untradeable, by the way, you'll have a good chance to get these players because you put your, again, time or money into this game. The intention is that you get Golovin. The intention is that you get... <clears throat> uh, let me go to the, uh, the team because I'll show you what's been coming up now. The intention is that you get Thiago Santos and Benteleb and Zakaria and Del Castillo. And the intention is that you get Loco and Dante and Kenny Lala and Medina because that's all your player picks are going to be right now. The intention is that you sweat your balls off, you give this game your time, you give this game your money, and you get screwed. That's, that's the intention. I found it to be a really, really weird choice of words from EA. And again, I might just be picking on it because I'm like frustrated at the situation. But I, like, I have played over 3,000 games of FC24. And the fact that they've now openly suggested that they intend to screw people, even though we've got a great menu grind and you, it's still easy to get a good team, to get the best players, to get the premium players, to get the elite players, to get the, the Kylian Mbappe style players... The intention is that you will never get these because they want you to go to the store. That's the first thing from that very short tweet that wound me up a lot. And sorry for my voice cracking, guys. Last night on stream, I was, oh, I was, I was fr frustrated and stressed, man. And my voice has, has uh, not, not recovered overnight. The other thing that really wound me up with this here is that they didn't do anything that you would have known to change the rewards. There wasn't a squad update. There wasn't a micro lag in the menus. There wasn't a, you know, a, a, everybody got disconnected from the servers, so you had to restart to log back in. It just changed. And we've had a kind of a joke in the streams over the last year or two about the rotation changing, specifically in like player picks. Like when EA release, like what, what have we got right now? When EA release... Um, let me find the, uh, the campaign bag that's there. Which one is it? This one here, right? When EA released like the 88 plus Encore play Hero Player Pick, of course, nobody cares about this these days because everybody's team's far progressed from that. But when these players were important to people, you would constantly get the same pool of like five or six players. And then out of nowhere, the pool of players that were com common would just change. And it always used to be that the pick got released at 6, and then at 7 p.m. it would change. And so we used to meme when doing share plays, like, oh, let's wait for the rotation change at 7 p.m. Now I'm sitting there thinking, that's probably not even a meme. They're probably... And, and, and he, he, here's what they've done, even if they're not doing what I'm about to say. They have now created uncertainty because of the fact they just changed the champ's rewards. But they could possibly be sitting there and being like, all right, the 88 plus Encore Hero player pick is here. Let's leave the rotation of these players to be awful. And then when we hit a threshold of completed SBCs versus active users, we'll start putting some better ones in there. And we've already got everybody. It's done, right? And it's really frustrating, really frustrating, that now knowing that when EA give you foot champs rewards, your rivals player pick, your encore hero player picks, your even like your Bundesliga packs, your, your weekly tots upgrades, it's frustrating knowing that there's not like set odds of you getting players. And of course, not everyone can just get the best player every time. I get it, right? Like there has to be like some kind of um, some kind of like balance for sure, for sure. But the fact that I might have had a much better chance of getting a good card two hours ago or in two hours rather than right now. And I can't possibly know if EA have changed it and that they're not 
explaining to people how the system works, it, it's wound me up incredibly, like incredibly. Like I could not believe that they just, bang, rewards were changed. And it's really frustrating as a consumer, as I say, that puts a lot of money and a lot of time into this game. I'm not talking about me. I put a lot of time into this game, but I don't spend too much money on this game. But for you guys that do spend money and do spend your time on this game, if you missed out on these rewards, it is, it, it is a, a big, big kick in the teeth because it wasn't like the messy pick where not everyone was getting it and they took it down quick. Everyone was getting these good players. And if you got them, you're obviously happy, right? And you would be because you put the time in during that six hour, seven hour window where you could. But ultimately, like, it was, it was a farce, right? It was a farce. And the reason why, for me personally, the reason why EA just should have left it, and I really mean should have left it, is because when you look at two aspects of this game, the first one being, but if EA let everybody have a Red Mbappe, a Red Dembele, a Red Zia Emery, they wouldn't go to the store. They still would. Because next week, there will be a 97 Vinicius Jr. and a 97 or 98 Jude Bellingham and a whole bunch of other incredible cool cards that people will just want. So it's not like people would get these two red cards or one red card that they would get and all of a sudden their time on the game is done. EA are masters at enticing people to spend money in their store. People would still go and spend money in their store. And the reason why I know that is because my own team, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going again. My own team has transformed so much this year and players that I was certain would be in my team for a long time are no longer in my team. For example, I had him on the bench uh, yesterday when I was talking about him to, to show people. But for example, I packed this Pele in like January. I only played 382 games with him, which is still a lot of games, don't get me wrong. But that's 95 Pele that's no longer in my team. This Drogba... Even now, even now, is one of the best cards in the game. He has everything that works right. He's four-star, five-star, got high, high work rates, which is banging. He's got insane stats. He's got insane playstyle pluses and insane playstyles in general with Relentless, which is one of the, the best playstyles, especially for forward players. He, this card is insane. And I genuinely thought, he's just going to be in my team until, like, when I can get a big, big Arsenal Evo that's going to replace him. I only played 108 games with him, which is still a lot of games. But for a card that I thought was going to be the second coming of Jesus Christ, he lasted 108 games. And that is because the power curve in this game increases and peaks and spikes so quick every week, every promo, every, every time they release a new SBC or a new evolution that creates a new, a new like wave on the power curve. All of those cards that you did have that you thought were going to be your end game card very quickly got brushed aside. And so if, first of all, who cares if everyone's got these uh, PSG reds anyway, because this game is already so high on the power curve. But for most people, not everybody, but for most people, they would play with these cards for a week or two and then move on to other cards because that feeling of having access to cards will entice people to change their team and try other players and want bigger and better cards opposed to, I finally got a good card, let me hold on to it for the rest of the game cycle. So I know EA think that people would like, it, it would ruin the game if everybody got this opportunity to get these cards. I just don't think it would ruin the game at all because first of all, they don't, that would only be two players on starting 11. Second of all, it would be fair because so many people have already got it. But third of all, people would deviate away from these cards very quickly when the next big shiny card comes. And so it baffles me. It baffles me that EA's response to this was, whoop, we fixed it. And that's it. There is zero accountability from them. Like they, they have literally pulled up the corner of the carpet brushed it under, popped that carpet back down again, and they'll just carry on like nothing happened. And do you know what the absolute worst thing is? The absolute worst thing is that even though you're frustrated at this, I'm frustrated at this, 
we will still keep playing this game because there is a lot of good from this game. But things like this, they have to do better on. They have to do better. If you guys want to see, um, if you guys want to see a lot of these picks and packs being opened on my packs channel, uh, go and subscribe to that little self plug there. Why not? I have um, I have uploaded a video where first of all I was showing people's uh, red picks. And as I say, Tur Turan was one of the other common ones. If if I forgot to mention him, um, people were just getting them like crazy. There's an Mbappe run the foot market. Nick was opening rewards. Another Dembele in there. And then I started opening some rewards from viewers. Two Dembele's for that guy. So if you want to see them being opened, then go nuts for it. And then at the very end, at the very end of the uh, video, they had fixed the rewards. And that's what they turned into. Bolivin and Lala. Right? And it, it's, it's, just, it's just really frustrating that people had access this card for a six or seven hour window in champs and that people had access to this card like bear in mind this is still 1.1 million coin card and this card was incredibly common and he's still 2.2 million coins not like the fact that loads of people got him pushed his price down to a price where you could be like oh do you know what i can actually just go and get him now and this card it's still 7.7 .7 million coins and this card here i think was the most common i think usman dembele was the single most common card that was coming out of these picks and Jonathan David as well. Even now at 1.2 million still, he was so common. It's really frustrating. But it's, it's really frustrating that they made the mistake in the first place. I think it's just compounded and, and just kind of like blown up even more in terms of like levels of frustrations based on how EA have handled this response and the fact that they've just identified an issue and corrected it in game and that is all we've got i feel like and i, I left twitter last night saying this the this, this same thing i feel like we deserve more on this matter we deserve to 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 hear more from ea whether or not we will we both we all we all know the uh we all know the response to that but that for today guys is going to be the end of the video if you uh did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rate and comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now guys, out. Peace.